Hey guys, all right. So, the regent, the, if you watched the last video, the regent that had the broken seat mount, which was broken back here, is already, I already fixed that. As I did, in case you had the same problem. Of course, you gotta take the whole pan off. It's really not that hard, just a couple of bolts here, and then there's a couple underneath here, there, and on the other side and uh just slide it out you gotta this is the worst part of the whole thing right here take the handle off and uh of course this one has a charging cord all of a sudden i'm getting all these machines with charging cords in them i don't know whatever i guess it's so you can charge your headphones or whatever you might be listening to um so I guess it's kind of cool. But this one will have wires to it. The other one didn't have that. But anyway, you take that off. And then I just, uh, I made a big, there we go, a big piece of quarter inch metal flat stock. I had to notch it out for this and uh, drilled a couple holes in it. Rebolted it down and it was all good, nice and solid. So uh, that one's already gone. This is the one that leaked oil everywhere. And uh, I called it the Exxon Valdez because it had a, it had that 20 horse Kohler Courage in it. It had a big crack in the block and was leaking oil all over the place. Well, it's all cleaned up now. And I've got this Kohler Command in here. It is a 16 horse, but it's a superior engine and uh, it's only a 44 inch deck, so it that should be should be plenty. <clears throat> if not, I, I got other stuff I can put in here, but I'd rather not because you know you got to diddle with stuff like. Uh, well, let me back up a little bit. This, if you remember my Cub Cadet video, my new Cub Two had the uh, DSAI coil modules in it. And I put regular coils in that other machine. This one had the DSAM, uh, Digital Spark Advance module or something it's called. So that's right here. And this just sits, it's mounted on the, uh, side of the key, the blower housing right right there and uh, so there's that and then there's here's the coil that it plugs into it looks like a standard coil but then it's got these other plugs on it also so uh, or just one really but so it had a and the reason I didn't stick with it, as you can see, it's not in the machine. I actually took the coil uh, out of that Kohler Courage and put it in the command. So I nixed all this. And the reason why is because, it, of course, it had the proverbial mouse nest in it. And so that's why all these wires are taped. I wanted to see if it ran first, you know. So I had to tape all these wires. There's some taped on the on this part off the uh, alternator. They're all chewed. So I wanted it. You know, I could have redone it or whatever, and probably would have been fine. But I just wanted to go to the regular coil. It did run. It did run on this stuff. You know, with this goofy coil, and it looks a little different too than your standard uh, Kohler coil so and then I thought because of the uh, DSAI ignition in the uh, or modules in the Cub Cadet and I remember I had to switch the flywheel over too because it, it was the magnet part was offset so I thought I had to do the same thing to this one with putting the other standard coil into the command over here right there but 
and they were offset this one and the flywheel on the uh, command they were different according to the, uh, the key the keyway it was just a little bit offset but with this flywheel in there which is out of the original courage it did not want to run right so I put the original flywheel back in the command and it was fine so that's what we're sticking with and I ran that on my engine stand I did not run it in this thing yet in all hooked up so I had to switch out the alternator as you probably already figured out and the reason why I wanted to do that is like I said that one's a little different and I wanted to utilize the plug just plug right in plug and play boom done right well that's what I did so that's all good and I believe uh, I took this out of the courage because it was probably newer so I dropped that in there too and all oh, the can't remember what I did with them right now but up here it had the dual you know choke dual choke and uh, throttle unfortunately I couldn't use it which really sucks now I got a big hole here plus they look cool and this looks stupid but what do you do they just weren't long enough the cables weren't long either one you know I was gonna leave them in there and just use one cable because this is a just needs one for the choke and throttle and I'll have to zip tie this thing somewhere I don't like that but anyway so then I thought just even taking this cable or another cable and putting it in the original one and using that it just wouldn't work it was uh, it wouldn't tighten up right so I just put this cable back in this throttle and just use that just to make things simpler I don't like doing that because it looks hokey but you know you got to do what you got to do to get this shit going get this stuff going Jeez. sorry about that so uh, another problem well it wasn't really a too big a problem just the fuel line had to be shortened um, not really a huge deal put a new filter in there uh, the starter cable just barely reached but I was actually fortunate enough to use this the boot so how's that huh? pretty good so next obstacle was the exhaust on the colder courage that, that engine the exhaust came out this way right here off the motor and was right here so this muffler sat like that well as you can see this one comes out on the opposite end and it was a little high so I kind of pounded it down there is a bolt under here so I had to kind of dent dent it in on the bottom and make that work so then I just basically had to flip this over like this and then put my drilled some holes these are all self-tapping bolts drilled some holes and uh, put them in there and then I had to just weld up the old holes and I fitted it but I obviously haven't bolted it up and then right there was just a little corner piece that was holding me up so I had to kind of grind that away so right now we are on this exhaust so let me get you set up hang on all right and then I had to also this was the other way pointing that way so I had to flip this around of course naturally one of the screws broke off I was gonna tack weld this on here and all the welders put away now I forgot all about doing that so but it should I mean it's pretty solid shouldn't go anywhere this is got welding slag and 
chips in it yet. Those should disappear. That's just two two bolts. Hold the bracket in there. And just kind of hold the muffler up a little bit. It's kind of doing that loose, tight, loose, tight crap. So these threads probably are not in the greatest shape. I might, if it doesn't tighten up. Yeah, might have to put a nut on the end of that. Right now, we want to see if she runs. Like I said, I haven't ran it. In the machine yet just on the stand all right that one tightens up good uh you know what i'm going to try to find a nut for that hang on okay got us a lock nut on that bad boy Next is our heat shield. There's two little slots right here and right here that these little tabs uh, fall into. It's like that. Beautiful. Look at that. Then our bolt holes are right here and right here. Come on. And mosquitoes flying around me. Okay, so another thing. take you out of the thing. You might remember the tires on it were bad. I was going to take some Kenda's rims and tires off a Toro parts machine and put them on here. And uh, the hubs were too long to fit on the spindle. So I had a pretty good tire laying around and this bad tire, which is over here, already had a tube in it. Gee, I don't know why it would have had a tube in it believe yeah there's another one there another one here I need to probably some on the other side wall I don't know anyway this tire is bad and it's all it's really cracked up bad anyway it had tube in it had a good tire bingo bango put that on there with the tube all good this one really wasn't that bad so and it had no leaks. Unfortunately, this rim is the wrong color, so that's another reason why it would have been nice to use the Toro wheels and tires because they were gray and matched, so uh, so I have one mismatch rim, but all the tires are good. Let's, uh, let's, oh, I had to put a new battery in it too. The battery that was in it was bad. We'll have to leave. Where's my key? What did I do with them? 
All right, hang on while I find a key. Okay, so couldn't find the key that it had in it. So I just had to go get a different one, but uh, it'll still work fine. Had to put our headlights up here. Is not gonna put the hood on yet. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that or not, but uh, crop duster just went over their house. We're being bombed! All right, it's on choke. Now remember, there's no, well, there's probably gas still in the carburetor. So hopefully, we'll see that thing start pumping. Uh oh. Is our battery dead? Well, it wasn't a uh, brand new battery. It was out of uh, one of my parts machines, but it was, oh, it's a 2017. Yeah, a few years old, I guess. Didn't know it was dead. So, all right. Guess we'll put you in there. Pause you a second. Okay. Well, I got my jumper battery on it. I'm gonna set the parking brake. And uh, see where it goes from here. Nowhere! starter out for Pete's sake. It's, the fuel filter is full right now. I don't hear a mosquito. Uh, shouldn't take too much, too many, too many more to get it going if it's gonna run. I said it never fails you get stuff running running good on the stand you get it in the machine and what happens big fat nothing that's what happens I don't know if it's getting gas yet Or if we have a no spark situation, which I don't know. Wait, oh wait, yeah, that should be. All the wires should be hooked up. I don't see any gas sitting down. Like it's flooding out or anything. Um. Try one thing that will tell us if I got any spark or not.
take it for a drive. getting a little whiff of burning rubber it's not bad but it's there so I'm gonna have to probably get under there and see if all our I haven't checked the uh, the drive belt pulleys yet so I'll have to do that before I put the deck on which is over here now that's gonna take a little bit of work yet too um, you can see it's been repaired some and there's holes right here so we'll have to re-weld some of this and there's a big hole over here too and what I'll probably do I mean other than that the deck is not bad probably do is put a, uh, a support under here I'll weld it put a support under there as you can see these blades look like they haven't been sharpened all since 2007 when the thing was brand new um, I've got a new set of blades I bought for it so these things are junk I mean the, look at that I don't know People irritate me with the blades sometimes. The cu new Cub Cadet too it had the blades on it were so bad you wouldn't even believe it. it was leaving stripes they were so bad. So I had to get new blades for that too. Um, so anyway, there's that little bit of fix in here. And uh, the blades. I thought this thing was bent. But it's not. It's, you can see the height of this one to this one so it's just a transition I think I don't know why it's like that but the deck really isn't in horrible shape you know other than missing some missing paint um, so I just got to re-weld up there and uh, yeah I use this thing to uh, have decks like the you know lift decks like this and uh, um, pressure wash them so I can get this side and underneath so everything comes out oh those headlights are coming out and going in this guy because if you remember the headlight lens was busted out so I got that hood that hood's not great um, so I'm just going to take those lenses out and use them I don't know if you guys, I spied this. I don't think I talked about this yet. But I bought that grill. 
I mean, it's all cast aluminum. <laughs> it's heavy, man. Or magnesium. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of alloy anyway. Unfortunately, it is MTD, but I figured this thing would be a great wall hanger. Get it cleaned up. Repaint this. I wish I could maybe find somebody to make a sticker. I don't know. And uh, mount some headlights in it. And uh, sinking them. Mounting it right there. Right there. I thought. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think about that. So anyway, we know she runs now and drives. and So now we just got to get the deck fixed up, put it on there, and, uh, and giddy up, right? Get it sold. So all right, guys. Thanks for joining me on this one. We'll talk to you later. Bye.